Hello, and welcome to this Painting Rocks or Painting Rocks video. This is Lucia, a geologist from the Nevada Division of Minerals. In this video, we will first read a wonderful book called Scribble Stones, and then we will look at some rocks that are great for painting and listen to a geologist's explanation on what made them that way. Are you ready? Let's begin. Scribble Stones Written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others, all stacked in a pile, and waited calmly with a large friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping, and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be, the hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one. But his happy face slowly turned to a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down, and although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up, and he was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great, but he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right toward the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art, it was happening so fast. Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. We knew that this pile was getting too tall. There is no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they could all try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up, and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added, and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part, sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. With each new layer, there was a story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now thousands of stones inspire creativity each day. All because of a paperweight with a will and a way. You can do your own scribble stone art project. Scribble stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaborative art. How it works. Find a stone and add some art. 
a scribble, a splatter, or a happiness heart. Then give it away and let someone know that this scribble stone makes happiness grow. It's so very simple and easy to do. Just add some more art and give it away too. For more information on the best medium to use on stones or for stickers and extra tips, visit the website listed below. The end. I love that book. Such a happy ending for so many plain little rocks. Now let's look at some rocks that are great for painting along with some painting ideas while listening to a geologist's explanation on what made them such great painting canvases. The first type of rocks we will talk about are river rocks. Most artists choose river rocks to paint on because they are rounded and have a smooth surface. The reason these rocks are rounded and smooth is that they have spent a lot of time tumbling down a river or stream. As rocks travel down a river or stream, they roll or tumble. As the rocks tumble, they get gently broken down until they are rounded and smooth. The perfect canvas for any rock painting artist. The next rock type we will talk about is Wonderstone. The name says it all. This rock makes you wonder, how did this happen? Well, before we talk about the rock, first, let's think about what happens to a nail if you leave it outside for a while. The nail rusts, and the rust changes the colors of the nail, right? The same thing happens to rocks that have minerals with metal inside of them. As water trickles through the layers of the rock, these minerals that are made of metal rust and change color. Rock painting artists can use their imagination to create beautiful pictures or scenes with a unique background that will make any audience wonder. The next rock type that is great for painting is siltstone or mudstone. These rocks are formed when really, really tiny pieces of rock fall out of the water onto the bottom of a lake or the ocean. Because the bottoms of lakes or oceans are very big, the rock layers made up of these really, really tiny pieces of rock can be very big as well. That's why these rocks make the perfect painting canvas for any rock painting artist who needs lots of room to express themselves. Our next rock of interest is basalt. This rock has two reasons it is chosen as a canvas. One reason is because of all of its holes. Basalt is erupted from a volcano. As it cools, gas escapes out of the rock, leaving little gas bubbles behind. These bubbles are fantastic for night or space scenes, as well as painting frogs or toads with a realistic skin texture. The other reason is because it is very dark in color. Rocks are made of minerals. The reason it is dark in color is that the minerals this rock is made of are all dark in color. The dark color makes basalt perfect for night or space scenes or for any canvas that needs to have a black background. The last rock we will talk about is sandstone. With every wave that crashes on the beach, new pieces of sand come with it. These pieces of sand eventually turn to rock, a rock called sandstone. Sandstone is great for creating background scenes for paintings of the beach, at the ocean or a lake, lazy lizards basking in the hot desert sun, or for being the ground or dirt for any scene or object you would like to paint. If it looks great on sand, sandstone would be a great rock to choose. Well, we hope you learned something new and are inspired to go find some different rock types and make some art. Please feel free to email me pictures of your creations at the email address listed on the screen. Or, if you have any questions, please send them to me as well.